I got me a choice. Hello, my geeky guys and girls, and welcome to Choke. To Choke. Why are you really wanted to choke? I can't England properly, properly speak English, properly thing, shit thing, whatever. I don't know, I don't care. This is Choke, I'm your host, Mask Geek. This is it. This is all we get into as soon as you start the game up. No menu, no settings, none of that bull honky shit. You just go straight into the game. Sorry about saying bull honky, but I can say it because I am one. Anyway, straight into it. I actually couldn't really figure out what the summary of the game was because I'm... I did see it, and this came from itch.io.com, uh, itch.io website, no, there's no dot .com, um, I think I did actually see the, um, no turning back now, okay, I think I did remember seeing a description of it, but I can't remember, I downloaded it a few while back, and I've been playing a lot of other games since then, so I don't know about it, not yet, so one, follow your inner voice, no, because my inner voice tells me to go to different places, which is not a good thing. My inner voice speaks in a different language which I don't even fucking know about. I mean, word to the developer. I've only got two brain cells rattling up around in this cave up there, so... And they even don't even speak the, the, the proper same proper language to each other. That's why I can't properly speak proper sentence thing, even. So, if I can't fathom properly puzzle things out, then blame these, not me. I'm only a messenger. I'm only a vessel in which they carry. The exit. So close. Alright. I think it is a horror game. I think it's got some elements of puzzle. Here it comes. Are you going to jump scare me? Hello? I mean, it's a nice velvety place. Are you going to scream? <laughs> No. Alright, Slenderman sound. Stop. The fuck? Oh, the door's opened. Okay. Now, I do recall that on the description on, from when I downloaded this on the itch.io client, however, the developer did actually say that he's using old assets from the Unity Engine store, so. Oh, it's changed. Look deep into the eyes of death. Okay. Oh, okay. Spider-Man. That's a different kind of Spider-Man. Not the type of Spider-Man that I actually want to see. This eye is over here. You're going to do anything. You're going to do me more than that game. Come on. Spooperize me. Really? Nothing in here? It did say that the game's immersive, so I think it's more of like, just getting to the end maybe? I'm not sure. I'm not even sure that there's any possibility that you can die. Surrender yourself. Okay. Yes, it's exactly what you think it is. It's a weird ass game. You can't escape love. Ah, sweet. The game loves me. That's nice! At least it um, loves me. So now what? Well, guess we've got to play the game again. I thought you loved me. Guess that's not right. And there's no message on that door. Okay! Let's get through here. Pathetic. I'm sorry! I told you I've only got two brain cells. Give me a break, man. Come on. You gonna do the same thing? Yes, I know. You gonna do the same thing? Oh, okay, cool. Look deep into the eyes of death. Same room. Uh, slender fingers. Uh, provocativeness Something for daily motion or some other website like that. Not and one for YouTube. Uh, is there actually any going to be anything in this room apart from a nice chair to sit in? Probably not. Oh. Yes, here, now. A man stares at a window. <laughs> Fucking hell, wrong window, of course. Okay. 
That actually sounded like from... What's it called? Pineview Forest. Pineview Drive. The noise of the Scarecrow. Once more we're feeling. Stop lazing around. Maybe you like it. Yeah, I like the, the decor. I like the colour of it. It makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside. It's like a big old squeezy hug monster. Should you just end it? No. I'm liking this. This is my holiday home. Maybe later. Yeah, when the weather warms up, then yeah, that's when I'll come here. That's when I do my holiday home. If it gets too cold in Britain, which is like 80% of the time, then I'm going to chuck my ass in here. Yes! And then, I'm going to have me some fun. Something here. Going to be something new. Nothing on there. Behind you. <laughs> and hope lost. But he saw nothing but corpses in his wake. And the king turns his people, for a great darkness has risen. It's Mordor! Land of the Rings! Who are you? A great darkness. And only... And only death was here to meet him. Okay. Yes, again. It keeps crawling at the back of your mind. Can't breathe. Did you miss it? A great darkness. It's my great darkness. Belching and hiccuping all the time that stops me from doing good, fairly good commentary. It's not the best commentary, it's the worst commentary actually. I'm a Britishman. You can't get good commentary out of a Britishman. At least not with me anyway. Like your soul is melting. Does this feel like dying? Your whole self pouring on the floor. Just hold on. And the air tastes like ashes. Choking. It's the name of the game. And headless men sang heartless songs of endless wars. Yeah, I say, it's my holiday home. It's a brilliant place. I want to come here again. Yes, again. Whirl. Slushing, ringing, sharking, banging, screaming. Cool. The pounding never stops. Well, if Slender Man could just fuck off, that'd be nice. Maybe a little longer. Alright, someone's doing too much graffiti in here. Someone needs to call the cops on this guy. Snap out of it. Breathe. Breathe, 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 breathe. You should look at the bigger picture. There is no picture. How can I look at a picture if there's no picture there? Having fun, are we? Yoda's in the house. He's been... Fucking Yoda's doing all the graffiti. That's why I... Shall not that way. Still not that way. See, I can't English. I should probably fucking emigrate to Russia or something. I probably stand a better chance of speaking Russian than I can English land. Oh, I've got a choice. I got me a choice. What do I do? Do I go that way? Or do I go that way? <laughs> I will go this way. See, see, see. We're gonna do something. Come on. Hmm, no, you know what, let's do it, it's gonna, it's gonna fuck me up, innit? Until next time. What? No, let's go this way again. Ah, oh, that's a bad thing, because I don't know if I'm gonna miss anything out. It does change. It's like you're f falling upright. It does change? That is cool. I do like a good game that does that. So this is under exit. Thanks for playing. Okay. Well done, Raphael Daly. Very good game. Very good narrative. But there is more to this than meets the eye. So I'll be back once I can restart. I had to restart the game. I had to actually close it down and restart the game properly in order to get back to this point. Which is a bit strange, but anyway, at least we are back to the same point again. Back to the exit down there. But, actually got it wrong. That, that noise that you heard earlier... That one. That is SCP Containment Breach, not Slenderman. I've played SCP Containment Breach. That is the bane to me of my horror experience. It's not so much that 
um, the maps are randomized. Oh, it just repeats. Yeah, so it's not so much that the map randomizes each time you play a new seed, but it's the monsters in there. But it's um, it's that not knowing when they're gonna come out. Okay, you can gauge which monsters there by the unique sounds that they do, but it's still that kind of waiting, that anticipation that there's something there that can kill you at any instant, especially that fucking weird old oily guy that comes out of the ground or the wall. Can't remember what I called him, George or Peter or something, I don't know. I do know I called SCP-173 Chris, because that's a reference to uh, Chris from Outlast. But, yeah, that's an SCP sound, not Slenderman. But that's it. That's all we've got for this game. This just repeats on and on and again. No, the text is different. Well then, that's a something new. Looping again. Yeah, because I'm a looper. I'm a looper pooper. Maybe a little longer. Okay, it's itching. These texts do change. Getting tired. Can someone see you? Well, yeah, I got the webcam on. That's how I can do the ooze tube. And again. So does it change? Looping again. I think this is, this actually is the end now. Don't think there is much more to the game. Open stuff for me. It's itching. Yeah, this is the end of it. Getting tired. All right. Yeah. That's the end of the game then, my geeky guys and gals. Until next time. Thanks for playing. <laughs> that was a good timing, actually, as well. So, yeah, that was a good little narrative game for that from Raphael Daly. Very good. It really irked me on that, that sense of, is there actually anything around the corner? But, no, perfectly safe. Nothing there. It's, it's just more about the sound, really, than anything else. And I do like a game where it changes the scenery of the map that you're in so that it puts you on edge. It makes you think, what the hell is going on? I remember the first game that I played for the channel, which was a mod for Half-Life 2. It was, um, um, what was it called? Oh, fucking hell, what was it called? Midgard. That was the one. There was a few parts in there where the map actually changed. You look away. I don't know, you look at something, you look away and then look back and the whole fucking map's changed. And I like that. Not changing so much that it completely throws you off so you don't know where you're going, but it changes enough that it's still linear in some certain sense, so you've still got an objective to go to, and I prefer that. I don't like games where it just randomly changes the map and it's purely down to luck to get to the exit. Vanish does that, and I'm never going to play Vanish on a channel. Never, ever because I don't like to be able to play a game and win purely based on luck. I like to be able to use the, the two brain cells in here to best advantage, at least to some degree, and be able to outthink the game and get to the end the proper way. Not luck. I hate that. So that one good. I enjoy that. So if you want to play it for yourself, link's in the description. It is free. It's on itch.io. So go and knock yourself out. Have fun. Play with it. Just don't play too long because you know the darkness is coming winter is coming but anyway thank you so much for watching this video my geeky guys and gals if you liked it smack the like button if you didn't smack the dislike button if you do dislike though please leave me a comment down below and let me know what I can do to improve the video just for you and as always if you want to know when the next video is coming out smack the subscribe button down there and click the little bell icon next to be, to, to be part of the notification squad and I'll see you in the next video so bye bye for now The Mask Geek sits at his computer playing games for YouTube. What a sad life he's got. Now that's narration. <laughs>